I came to Seattle from Maple Valley when I was 16. Um, wanted to be an artist, got involved with a lot of art students in the colleges. Um, and along the way, there was a little subculture and they were doing heroin and they looked like they were having a real good time. And I was curious and, and tried it. And from there, I, I became a heroin addict and battled it for the better part of two decades, a little over two decades. So I went to prison three times, mostly for possessions. And in that three years, um, I chose instead to focus on what I could do to better myself so that when I got out of prison, I would have you know, a path to walk. I had to get my own place, and I was like, oh my gosh, these apartments are 15, 16, $2,000 for a two bedroom apartment in Seattle. And it was out of my reach. I, I really didn't know what I was gonna do. I was born in Baghdad, Iraq. I moved to Syria when I was five years old because my house was bombed and it was a war zone. I was born in 2001 and my mom laid on me and saved my life when she was pregnant with my sister. So when she gave birth to my sister, we moved to Syria. We took a truck and we sit in the back and my dad was in the front with my little brother, Mohammed. The truck was not comfortable, honestly, because it was really cold in the back. So when every time the truck stops to take, you know, a, a rest, we sleep under the truck to make sure people not try to kill us or anything because my dad was threatened. We got an appointment in their UN and it was a big place and they took us in and they said we can get you out to a better state and just to sign this papers, tell us about your story. We found out uh, five months later we got a, a visa to go to the United States. This building, uh, Anchor Flats, was built in 2018, so I got to usher all 71 households into their new place. And I saw people who were just struggling to get by, able to like start to stabilize, people who were coming in off homelessness, be able to start, start to stabilize. Um, people were able to take on a better job because now they're in, now they're in town, they don't have to worry about the commute factor. Um, it's just been, it's been very rewarding and very amazing to watch people stabilize and, and begin to grow. In the city of Seattle, we've seen rapid growth, 20% increase in the population in just this decade alone. We've seen that growth not be coupled with affordable housing. In our region, in King County, of the 62,000 apartment units that have been created, 85% of those are for luxury apartments. And my job as a city council member is to make sure that we're creating more opportunities, opportunities for nonprofit developers, nonprofit organizations who work with those most at risk of displacement, most at risk of being housing insecure. We want to have three and four bedroom apartments so that people can have their family with them and a larger definition of family. As we think about being an inclusive and welcoming Seattle, Creating two, three, and four bedrooms helps to make sure that families can stay together and live right here within the city where they want to work, retire, or study. What I love about what Bellwether does is that they're doing it coupled with access to transit, access to health services, making sure people have access to grocery stores and childcare facilities, senior centers, community centers. That's what it looks like to build community. Oh, this apartment means a lot to both of us. It gives us our own space. It's a two bedroom, so we don't have to share a room, and that means everything to my daughter. I first started um, to look at places when I was getting out of prison, way south, and I was like, there's no way I'm going to do that, that I have a child that I have to get to school. I have no car, I'm, I'm still building up to that and I actually prefer public transportation. In order to manage transportation for my child, um, for myself to get to college, to work, I had to be in the city. I've got three different buses all lined up on one street that I can take to the downtown area, and then from there I take the link rail to wherever I need to go. I've been to two shelters, but it was hard. You never felt it was your own, you know? When I got here, I had my own speed, <laughs> my own time, you know. People will, was really nice to me, you know. From a 
Nefetari is my case manager. She's really nice because she helped us a lot with my license, my job at the university, and like she helped my mom with her car. She helped us a lot with paperwork, and I really, really am hopeful and appreciative of her. She made a big of a difference because of how much she doesn't give up on us. They know that what folks need is not just the key to the door, but they need the key to opportunity to get stabilized back on their feet and then not have to cycle back into homelessness. This is one of the most cost effective and proven strategies we know in the housing world. There's not anything that I don't like about this apartment, but I love um, the fact that it has a rooftop garden. I did horticulture for um, the better part of three years in prison, and when I came out, uh, I was hoping to get an apartment with uh, access to gardening, like some little green space. I, I think it's incredible that, that our landlord, Hank, went and put so much effort into making this a successful gardening project. They gave us beds, they gave us couches, they gave us tables, and they were the nicest, you know. They already gave us everything we needed to feel comfortable in our own apartment, even though we didn't give them anything back. And hopefully one day I can help them back just like they helped me and my family. Our past is our past, and we always be stronger because our past happened, and we become stronger, man. <laughs> Hanasur, Akwa, Lennashin, Asar, Hanasur, Akwa, Lennashin, Asar, Hanasur, Akwa, Lennashin, Asar, Hanasur, Akwa, Lennashin, Asar, Hanasur, Akwa, Lennashin